Hi guys and welcome back for some more Creativerse and today we are going to be building a couple of blueprints from those two gaming girls or I should say the two gaming girls um anyways so the first one we're building here is called the witch's hut I did put these in my just outside of my Halloween uh, town in the swampy area of course but this is about 766 blocks so it's pretty small it didn't take very long at all um, but I really liked how it fit perfectly into this area I didn't have to search too far um, I didn't want to it wasn't it's not very tall so I didn't have to worry about the trees interrupting it and I didn't have to trim any trees back for it um, but I just thought it was cute and would be you know kind of neat idea to have like a little witch's hut just outside of the blueprint I did of meatballs spicy meatballs blue uh, haunted village um, so yeah I just put it right down here and uh, after the speed through we will um, the speed build, I guess, whatever. We will take a closer look and I will tell you my final thoughts on it. But as always, I just really enjoy doing their blueprints. Their blueprints are so, so unique and neat. Um, th there is a different, um, there is a bunch of different blocks in both of these blueprints um, that they use. And I like it because it gave me some ideas of um, things to use in my own builds which is why I like to do blueprints but uh, yeah there's some things in here uh, not necessarily this one but the next one you'll see uh, there that I hadn't seen for a while so it kind of brought me back to um, kind of a more natural way of building I guess um, but anyways they I think they came out with this blueprint last year it could have been the year before I'm not I can't remember off the top of my head but as always I will put a link in the description down below for you if you would like to get this blueprint for yourself it is absolutely adorable and I recommend any of their blueprints as always they have a variety of sizes from very small to very large so uh yeah so this is just this little hut and we are using a lot of the haunted stuff in this the haunted uh walls and the roofs and the floors not the walls i should say the stone wall haunted stone wall and the um haunted floor as the walls that's where I was getting a little bit mixed up but anyways um, it is nice with the smaller blueprints because you can fit all of the blocks into your inventory and you don't have to worry about going and getting another chest to put them in uh, that's one of the things and it's also very very quick to do And here I just put in the blue lights, which makes the gives it that little light, darker, gloomy, haunty kind of look to it, which is really, really cool. Um, I like that. I don't use colored lights near enough in my own builds. I need to start doing that for di just to give it a different uh, effect. I think it's really cool, simple to do. So now I'm just going out there and putting up all of the... Um, 
last stuff, the shrubs and the grass, uh, shrubs, but the vines and the grass. And I think this is what the finishing touches give it that little, you know, like witches kind of look uh, to it with the vines. It has quite a few vines for this little build, um, which I really like. It makes it look all overgrown, which is what you would expect from a witch's hut, right? And of course, you can't have it complete without the uh, tombstones. <laughs> and then to finish it off, I am just putting in all of the inside stuff uh, with vines and decorations. So now we have moved on to the walking witch's hut, which I did put quite a distance from the other one. Um, I did put this a little bit closer to the city because it was a little bit taller and I kind of wanted it. It had more um, of the bog water around it. So I found this huge, nice bog water already set, situated. So I put it on that and I didn't have to... Um, collect as much water and it blended in very nicely with this area i'm really happy where where it's at this this witch's hut is um almost 900 blocks it's 868 blocks um it is taller it's a, basically a hut we'll take a closer look at that in a few minutes but it is like a hot a, a, wow it is like a hut with legs which i thought is really cool and um here i'm just putting in the water here and uh it did get a little bit leggy in this area so i think it's because of the at the time of me recording this um we, maybe there was things going on building wise in other areas i don't know i don't know why, why it was so leggy i recorded these on the same exact day like minutes apart i don't know why it was choosing to be leggy, but it is, so there you go. But anyways, um, so yeah, here I'm putting up a uh, the floor of the bottom part um, of this hut. It does have a variety mixtures of natural materials like detrius, or however you say that, detrius, I don't know, um, mud and some wood. And this is where I was saying that I really liked the use of, of uh, more simplistic blocks like the natural stuff like uh, there's only a little bit of the haunted wood of uh, yeah floor the haunted floor but for windows they use the logs which i thought is really really neat i hadn't seen that done for a really while for a long while um actually and uh so yeah i thought that was cool and uh here we're putting up the stairs for the feet of the um build here and then the ladder And then we're just continuing around the edges for the um, of the base. Now I did it did call for driftwood, and I had some trouble finding driftwood. Driftwood you can find on the beach in this world, and I have seen it in my other worlds, just laying on the beach and like shorewood area where you know the shorewood trees and stuff is. But uh, in this area, that was not the case. This is an older world of mine. Um, so I actually could only find the driftwood in water, underwater on the beachy area. So I found tons of it. Once I started diving under the water, I could find, I found lots and lots of driftwood. Um, so that was fun and interesting. I was like, there's got to be driftwood somewhere in this world, right? I mean, that's a pretty old block. I wouldn't think that they would just, you know, change that. But 
Um, it's just the, where it was found, being found. So that's the interesting thing about oh, the, some of the older worlds. They tend to spawn differently than the newer worlds. Like um, now in the newer worlds, you can't really find diamond in corruption. And in this world, you find it all over corruption. So uh, yeah, so in this world, driftwood is in the water and only in the water, at least that I have found. And I did search quite a big area of the beach that you know, looking for it. Never found it until I went into the water, basically. And then here, I'm just putting up the top of the witch's hut, which is all of, I don't know why I'm pausing there, but um, which is all of the uh, like hair, which is the uh, weepwood leaves all put in with some vines as the hair. And there to finish it off so now we'll go ahead and we'll take a really quick look here I think I'm right now I'm going to be I am finishing the outside but I'm gonna leave you this uh, this I just have the outside little bits of vine and stuff to put up and then we will go take a look like always and I'll give you guys my final thoughts on these two blueprints Okay, so here we are. This is the witch's hut. Uh, so yeah, I like how this is looking. I love this frog and toad. How wonderful. Um, but you have uh, just this little area. I will be filling in the back here. I have to, I'll connect these two probably, obviously. Um, but yeah, so you have this little cute hut. I like it. Come in here and you will see, we'll shut this. You have a little bed and a chest, I think is, or uh, bookcases. And some chests. Ooh, this is fitting for the holiday event that has come out today. By the time you see this, it may be already done. Who knows? It did come out today, October 24th. So, uh, yeah, that's gonna. I'll talk a little bit about that real quick at the end of this video. Um, but yeah, you so you have a haunted idol there and some soup and candles. This is really cute. I like this. And then a little sink made out of the trap doors and just some water. I like it. Uh, so yeah, that is really cute. It's just this one level little hut. So that is that. And then over here, we'll come past the lighthouse and we'll zoom over here to the witch's hut, which is standing in water, bog water. So I have it right here. I think it's really cute. We'll come out this way to get a better look. So you have the walking witch's hut here. Super adorable. Uh, it's 
got, you know, legs for walking. It's so adorable. I just, when I saw this, I was like, this is the cutest thing I've ever seen. This is just simply adorable. And uh, come in here and you have this fun little room. It's super spooky. It definitely oozes witch to me. Witch, witch. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, so, yeah, that is that. I'm not sure what this is. If, if this just spawned there and they didn't catch it or if that's meant to be like something. I don't know, but I'm going to leave it. Uh, so the girls will have to tell me in the comments down below if they see this video and, and, uh, I'm wondering what that is supposed to be. Uh, if it just might have just spawned there, um, in the blueprint and it didn't catch it. So yeah, that is it, um, for this. So real quick, it, because today I usually do a separate update video, but I did just finish live streaming the update. So if you really want to watch that, that's over on Twitch. I stream for about, what, three hours, um, just killing things and collecting candy, trying to get all of the stuff for the... Um, recipes you can get so it just to let you know it is Halloween the event did come out and today and uh so you have the when the night time comes you get to kill all of the haunted the uh ghosts the ghosts drop the ghosts drop uh candy they drop idols and it seemed like it was me and Juggy Bear that was doing it, just us two in my medieval world. And it seemed that at first it was very slow. And, um, but after playing for about an hour and a half, things, the idols did start to drop a little bit more. Um, cause at first it was like I was killing 20, 30 things and wasn't, I was getting maybe like one idol to drop. I didn't get any recipes in the three hours that I killed things. I never got any recipes to drop. I've got about 600 and some candy over there in that world. Um, so I, I really want to get <laughs> the new stuff, uh, the, the glider and all of that. If I can find, well, here, I'll just show you real quick the update. So you, the new costume you can buy in the store for 450 coins is, okay, so it, it is taking a while for it to load in the shop. I don't know. Uh, it's just not loading. So here is the, I have all of the pieces on. If I go to costumes, uh, you can see I've got the, uh, what is it called? Destroyer, that's right. So you get this destroyer for 450 coins. You get the destroyer head. You get the arms, the chest, and the leg as well, which are right here. Now, one thing to note, and I didn't realize this until this um, update, when you have... I have three of the heads. The only one I can color is the skull. So I can make this different colors. But when you have the frost hog head on or the destroyer head, you cannot change the color of it. It is the color that it is, which is totally fine. I just thought maybe you could make a different color since you could with the skull. I was wrong. That's fine. But uh, so you have your chest piece and legs and that the hat is not included. That is separate. So that costs 450 coins. You got that. Um, and then, of course, if I can make the night go by fast or make it tonight, I can hit up a pumpkin Kiru and uh, show you guys what's new on that. So let me go do that really quick. So right here is one of the uh, ghost ghostly things. Let's kill one just to see here real quick. Uh, what you can get. So I got a piece of candy. This is how you can get, um, your idols and supposedly recipes. But like I said, they must be really, really rare because I didn't get any out after three hours of killing stuff. Um, so it must be really hard to get. There is a pumpkin mirror, uh, Kiru. So in case you didn't know, if you look at the compass at my compass at the top middle of my screen, you can see the little pumpkin orange guys. That's how you see. This is actually a junior. I don't remember seeing this last year. He may have been there and I just never saw him. He too does sell all of the things, I believe. So you have items and recipes and then the feature. The feature means that this is what is new this year. So this year you can get for a thousand candy, you can trade with him. And these are the same prices as on King Pumpkin Kiru. They're the same. 
but you can get the mysterious bobble. To me, I, this almost looks like it was going to be like maybe uh, either uh, like similar to the music box that we had at Christmas last year or maybe a snow globe of some type. I'm very curious about this one, but it is a thousand candy. Then you get these. Now, I watched Playful Stream today and they showed these and oh my god these look really really amazing i have to have these i'm saving up for these but uh yeah so that's the steam glider that changes the look of your glider i would wear this all year round then you they also have the chisered head costume and the leafy head costume and the pigsy head costume which they showed the chisered head costume on playful stream and it looks so so nice i want to get all three of them and then you can get the jack-o'-lantern, but I this isn't new, I didn't think, but there it is. And then you can get the cauldrons, which I'm really excited about these as well. Uh, you can get the recipes, the green goo cauldron and the orange goo and the purple goo cauldron. And they look, you can get all of these previous recipes now by trading candy. And then you can also get the item. So you can also get just maybe you don't want to make them or you don't want the recipe. Who knows? You can also buy these things as well. For me, I think I would just go for the recipes. I'm just going to focus on these here. I mean, this is like I want, I'm going to need 2,000, 3,000, 35. Three, I'm going to need over 4,000 pieces of candy to get all the stuff here. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be killing some stuff for a while. And the little guy has disappeared. So, and then over here is actually the big key. This is what he looks like. The big cojona himself. The um, So, he has all the same things as the little one, Junior. But you can't kill him. He doesn't... Oh, yes, you can kill him. He doesn't give you anything, but... I, I swear that I couldn't kill him before. Anyways, so um, the other things that they improved, they did have improved the sulfur icon is more accurately represents the block. Ghost, but oh, that was another thing. You can now, you can now tame ghost mobs. So I don't have a taming collar bell on me, but you can tame them now and have a ghost pigsy or whatever now. So that's pretty cool. You can also, um, ghost mobs now spawn in the monster spawner. So you can spawn your own. Oh, I just had an idea. If I spawn my own mobs, I could maybe get more candy. Oh, I might have to work on that. I might have to make some mob spawners and see if I can spawn a whole bunch of, uh, pigsies and whatnot. Oh, that might work. Because, you know, instead of um, hunting around for everything, uh, maybe it would be just quicker to spawn your own mobs. See what they would drop if they drop anything. Um, but anyways, I'm just going to sit here and kill some mobs. But uh, So what else? We had uh, the pro purchase screen is updated with new character models. Um, and the slash HUD now hides the buff countdown indicators. So if you do slash HUD... It supposedly hides all of your HUD. And it also does the counters as well. Because before, I guess it was a glitch or something that it wasn't doing that. Um, how can I have it back? Thank you. <laughs> so you just type it to get back in there. And they fixed some bugs. Which one of the things that they fixed is the liquid flood fill in blueprints, supposedly. So I'm really excited about that. I can't even talk. So in case you didn't know, when you do like water in blueprints, it's a mess. It is horrible. So supposedly they fixed that. So in some coming future videos or streams, we'll have to pay attention to see if they fix that or not. Because that was one of my frustrating things was to have that not working properly so well i'm excited to see if that actually works i'll have to find a blueprint of like a fountain maybe two gaming girls has got some nice fountain blueprints maybe uh the next video will be me testing out that bug and see if they actually squashed it um so yeah and then the other things was like they fixed some error animations um resettling during jumping and floating i guess um i don't know about that because when i was on stream and i was actual gliding it looked like I was walking across the air I don't know if that's what they were supposed to have fixed 
but I'm still walking across the air instead of actually gliding. But that's okay. I don't have a problem with it. I'm just saying, whatever. <laughs> anyway, so that is it basically in the nutshell this update was just the halloween stuff not any really you know big things I, in my book it's huge halloween is huge for me i love halloween and i've been waiting for this so long <laughs> but this it did come out about the same time as last year's um event so they're not late in fact they might be a little bit early uh earlier than last year so anyways that's it for this video slash kind of an update video all in one so i thank you guys i hope you i hope you enjoyed this video i thank you all for watching and if you haven't yet subscribed to my youtube channel i would appreciate it greatly if you did i would be so forever in your debt if you would just subscribe <laughs> and if you are a subscriber then just make sure you hit that bell to get notifications when i put up a video i do put up a video every wednesday i've been really good so far i would love to increase that to make more videos but my schedule right now is really busy hopefully in the winter it will start to die down and i can make more videos because i really do enjoy doing it for you guys and if you haven't yet followed me on twitch you might want to because i do stream three to four days a week over there usually two days are in the morning and two in the evening it just changes from month to month because of my busy schedule um and i do have a schedule up over there so make sure you follow me over there if you're interested in seeing my live streams we have fun here recently it's juggy and i juggy bear and i working in this world that i'm currently in we built i built spicy meatballs blueprint haunted village blueprint right here in this world but juggy and i have been working the last couple of weeks on things that you know various things lighthouse uh haunted house um what else did we build a graveyard uh, a mausoleum we're now working on an asylum which we started yesterday we did work a little bit on it today before my stream had to abruptly end because of the update but that's all right we're going to continue working on that so i would love to have you follow me over on twitch and there is always Twitter. Let's not forget Twitter. You can follow me over on Twitter. I would love to have you there as well. I always put out a notification when I'm going to go live or when a video goes up. And I also do tweet out quite a bit on other life random things and everything else. So I think that's it of all my jabber jabbering. So I thank you guys and I will see you in the next video. I hope you have the great rest of your day or night, wherever you are. Bye.